I look like I'm about? How old I look like I'm about? 17. <laughs> I'm wait for a couple people. I probably should have prayed even before I got on this live. For God to bring in the people that's supposed to be in here. If you are here, you are supposed to be here to hear this. So don't leave. I'm going to wait for a couple people. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to start. Go ahead. and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start um, doing 10 minute inspirations again. Because it, it just looks like it's a lot of people hurting. A lot of people that just need to hear a teeny little something, something from somebody. The ancestors, God, something, somebody. Somebody has to speak right quick because a lot of us are just, we're numb. We're like, what is going on? But, uh, so, I'm going to do uh, my 10, I, I'm going to get back on my 10 minute inspirations for y'all. I just got done walking. I'm really working on my weight. <laughs> it's been a battle, but I refuse to come out of this quarantine bigger than what I was. So I just got done back walking. So what I'm going to do is when I get back from walking, I'm going to do an inspirational video for you guys every day. So I just, I titled this one, Go Get Your Peace. There's 10 people here that's good enough. I titled this one, Go Get Your Peace. And the, I know Jason, everything's like, ah. The reason why I titled this, this um, Go Get Your Peace is because it's a lot of us that have no idea why we can't sleep, why we're not getting the things we ask God for, why everywhere we go, there's turmoil there's problems there's something it's just something just ain't right and it's not everybody else it's you it's you you willingly or unwillingly consciously or unconsciously gave somebody something that belongs to you it was a gift it was a fruit it was a gift from god and you gave it away peace is a gift peace is a gift from god and and the thing the thing about his fruit, if you think about fruit, you can get fruit anywhere. You can get fruit right off of the tree. You can go in the store and get your fruit. You can get your fruit anywhere. God's fruit, his love, his joy, his peace, his long suffering, his faith, his gentleness, these things are he's like these are gifts. You 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 almost are required. To take these gifts, if nothing else. These are things that are giving willingly to you. And let me tell you a little secret. If you are lacking or not walking in these things, you're not walking with someone. And I try, I, I, when I talk, I'm like, Lord, I need you to teach me how to deliver where I don't stab. Because I don't understand things unless you stab me with it. I don't grasp it. So I don't really, I want to be gentle when I deliver what I'm saying, but it's almost like stop calling me if you don't want to do what you got to do to go get what's yours. You understand what I'm saying when I say that? You left your peace back there with somebody else that don't deserve to have your peace and you need to go get it. You left your peace at that job. Your last job or your last relationship or your last, I don't know. You know, this is for you. Whoever's still watching, this is for you. And you got to go get it. I'm not saying you got to call somebody. I'm not saying you got to interact with somebody because I strongly believe, if nothing else, everybody does not deserve a front row seat in your movie theater. Meaning everybody don't deserve to be that close. It's some people that can watch what's going on, the movie in the back. And some people can see better from the back. Don't get to the back. Because when you up close, uh-uh. I don't believe everybody has to be in your life. But one thing I do believe is you deserve your peace. Your peace is your peace. It's yours. And you deserve it. And you need to go get it. If every single time you see a person, <sighs> or you hear that a person going to be here or something like that, guess what you did? You willingly gave that person your peace. Who are they? Go get your peace. 
Go get your peace. I'm serious. It was a moment, and we're in a quarantine now, right? So we're having so much time to ourselves, to our thoughts, even being in the home with people. We're sitting down. And God had to, when I tell you the world was so bad, he had to halt the whole entire world. How you going to sit down the world? All right, all y'all niggas need to sit down and listen. Not just the United States, not just your cousin, not just your family because your grandmother died. The world. Bow. Everybody sit down. Sit down and think about this. Sit down and find me. Sit down. Every single person, sit down and figure this thing out. And God was like, you left your peace. Y'all ready for this one? Because a, a sister had to sit and soak in this, what I'm about to say. This ain't everybody's problem, but this is my problem. He was like, you left your peace at the grocery store, in the refrigerator, at McDonald's. You left your peace literally anywhere that could make you obese. I was like, what you mean? Like, cause I'm God right here, man. I don't care about none of y'all. <laughs> like, I don't be doing nothing. It's like, <laughs> I'm that person. I'm that person. When y'all be talking about y'all stuff and y'all see it, I'll be like, oh, I don't have that problem. Like, like God like a uh, fat ass. Yes, you do. And I'm like, fat ass, wait. <laughs> Like, uh, Josie, you got a joke when you say you built this body. You need to go get your peace. You need to go get your peace. And I'm like, what does that mean? How does that look? God sitting on the throne. He is not moved by nothing that's going on right now. He like, mm, they burning up buildings. Mm. Black lives matter. Mm. All lives matter. Mm. He chilling. God already knows all of this stuff is going to happen. He already know. But I'm telling you like this, it starts with you in your home, one person at a time. If you don't go find your peace, we ain't going to be able to have no peaceful world. Each person needs to go find what, what they gave away. And how, you, how will I know, God, if it's my peace? How will I know? Hey, sweetie. How will I know if it's my peace that I'm lacking? Well, you know by if you look in the mirror or... If you have any conviction, and you don't feel good about it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not lying. I am probably one of the most confident people you're ever going to encounter. I, I'm serious. <laughs> 300, 250, 120, I don't care what age, what weight. I, will, I am probably one of the most confident people you're ever going to encounter. But the reality of it is, it's not just about weight. And God had to show me that. It's not about weight. I ain't, I ain't never had no problems. I don't have diabetes. Some of y'all thin men's got high blood pressure. Thought Y'all got all. I don't have none of that. God, like, it ain't never been about your weight. Your weight just tells on you. Your weight shows that your peace, when it comes to something, is out of alignment with me. And that's important to you. You got to find your peace. Well, I don't understand what you mean, God. I mean, I had to, this is what I was going through, and I just want to share it with y'all. Because I really want y'all to go get your peace. And I just want to be transparent real fast. I had to sit with myself and think, I don't understand what you mean. Because for real, my friends get a little irritated with me because I don't eat as much as them. But I eat whatever I want, whenever I want. I might go get a, 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 a Big Mac. Mm. Not a taste for a Big Mac. It'd be 3 o'clock in the morning. I get up, get dressed, and go get a Big Mac. And God is like, that's where your leak is. That's where, where your roof, you, you got something leaking. Your roof, your house. You got leaks in your house, and you need to fix them. If you could get your butt up at 3 in the morning to go get a burger, that's just an example. I don't do that. Often, I'm sure I've done it at least 365 times this lifetime, but I mean, I'm 42. So let's back up a little bit. I'm just saying. That's just an example, though. God had to really show me it's your consistency. You are consistent with eating anything you want, but you're not consistent with nothing else. And your consistency and lack in that area is proof. It's all on your body. And I'm like, oh, that's your peace. Your peace is not in your weight. The actual 
heaviness of your body is finding where that leak is that makes your body heavy. So I had to sit and soak and think about that. Like, he's like, your peace is, is in your mouth. You have no control. You don't have any control. And if you can't control what you put in your mouth, this is just me, by the way. If you can't control what you put in your mouth, it's no way anything else in your life can be under control. And I don't know about y'all, but I am one of them people that if somebody tells me I'm out of whack or I'm lacking somewhere or I'm out of control, I am pressed to fix it. I'm pressed. I'm going I'm to see who's saying it first. And I'm going to think about it first. I am, I'm going to dwell on it. But I be pressed. And when I finally got that notion, I was like, God, what I got to do? He said, you're going to have to because I'm, I'm far behind with this. This is just me, my story. I'm far behind with this, so now I got to double up. I got to do everything twice as much as somebody else that's in the same position as me. And then I have to not beat myself up, but I have to be consistent. And it's funny because I've been consistent with the actual 80%, because I say 80% is what you eat. I've been consistent with that for about a month. I've been consistent with exercising. Because, I mean, once you start being consistent with something, once one thing falls off, another thing just comes kind of like drops in that place. It's kind of like connect four. Boom! You're like, oh. Then things start connecting. You're like, oh, shoot. So then I had to start exercising. I hate exercising. I hate exercising. It's stupid. <laughs> but it is a. It, it has nothing to do with the actual exercise. It has to do with you Getting up, doing something uncomfortable that you don't want to do. This is why I believe I'm not further along. And, and maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I don't know. Further along in my career. It's consistency. It's lack of. And God is like, go get your peace. Your peace is in that. It's wrapped up in there like a web. And so I say to you, whoever's watching this, you during this time and be real with yourself because the first step is going to be you being real with yourself. During this time, sit back and say, God, where's my peace? Some of y'all know where it's at. Some of y'all know where it's at. Some of y'all need to pull. All right, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say something real terrible. God probably was like, I did not, I did not say, say it like that. Don't you dare. I mean, it was just like a stop in my mind. Some of y'all need to leave some of these dudes alone and these chicks alone. And you know who you are. Whoever's watching this. I was about to say a whole, some of y'all need to pull them things out your mouth. Okay. God was like, okay, okay. Scale back, John C. <laughs> but some of y'all know, some of y'all know where your peace is at. And your peace is so important. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, girl? Your peace is so important. And God, God, He's basically saying it's one of your fruit. It's like you you got a, all these ingredients to make the perfect pie, but you 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 don't have everything. You can't make a pie without without the crust, and you can't make the crust without flour. How you gonna make the pie? Some of y'all need to go get some of the pieces, some of the ingredients for your pie. Some of y'all. Some of y'all's peace. We just talking about peace today. Because peace is, is kind of like, it's important. It's linked. It's linked to all the other fruit. But when you wake up in the morning, you should have had a good night's sleep. You feel what I'm saying? You hear me cuz? You need butter. You definitely going to need some water. <laughs> and some ingredients that you need that you just... You're not going to be able to have an amazing day, an amazing life. God got so much for us. And tomorrow, I'm telling you, you better tune in tomorrow around the same time. Because I'm trying to stay consistent in every way. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is faith. It's so easy for me to talk and, and walk by faith. But it's all linked. You know what I'm saying? It's all linked. And God is like, yeah, girl, you got that part under control. But um, let's flip to this part right here that says... Gluttony in my eyes is compared to the same thing as an alcoholic. I, I got an alcoholic sister. Wait a minute. I don't act nothing like 
her. He's like, well, I'm just telling you what it is in my eyes. I'm looking right here. Um, I, I wrote it in the Bible that you love to read. How dare you put me on the same wavelength as an alcoholic? I don't even drink like that, God. I have maybe one glass of wine. He was like, exactly. It was a punch in my face. He said, but that's where your piece is. It's almost like, um, and I'm going to let y'all go. Hidden, hide and go seek. A hidden treasure. When you go, go east egg hunting. It's like, oh, your piece is hidden somewhere behind all of this. Let's get real and figure it out. Let's get it back. Go get, go get your piece today. Don't waste some more time because it's a prize at the end. At the end of this yellow brick road. I like to, I like to uh, talk in uh, the most kindergarten's layman's terms ever so we could get this God thing. But, hey, y'all, it's a prize at the end of the yellow brick road. It's, it's something waiting. As you ease on down the road. But in order to get there, first of all, you got to get on the right street. And I'm, that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. But your peace is important. And understand that your peace, another way I could put it, you need your arm. Some of y'all walking around without your arm. And then you wonder why you don't have no hugs, no love. Can't sleep. Some of y'all walking around without a neck. And you try to sleep. And your shoulders is holding your neck up. <laughs> I don't know. You understand what I'm saying. Go get it. Go get it. Do what you got to do to get it. When that person calls you, them toxic people, that's another subject for another day. If you ain't going to eat a spoiled sandwich, if you not going to go in the trash and eat something that you know ain't good for you, stay away from toxic people. Stopping it. that toxic spirits. Run. Stay away from them toxic spirits. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. That's another subject. I just got, ooh, that just uh, irks me. Stop letting them toxic people back in your life after they showed you who they are over and over again. Get your peace. You deserve it. Okay? I look like I'm 11. <laughs> just... This is definitely elementary school, <laughs> John C. <laughs> look, look at this. It's so cute. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. I had fun talking to y'all, and I hope I got through to somebody. One person, hopefully. I know my cousin's still here, so hopefully if nobody, I, I got through to you, Laura. <laughs> Go get your feet, y'all. I love y'all, okay? Talk to y'all later. <laughs>